Welcome back to Elsinore. Last episode, right at the very end inside of the gallery where we are right now, we learned that Lady Brit is the spy, which means they're also the one who killed us before. So uh, there's not really anything else on our timeline for Saturday anyway. There's something that's unlikely on Sunday. Basically our schedule's free. And actually, now that I look at things, we're actually pretty far into it. I've never gotten this far before, have I? I don't think so. Sunday's the last day. I wonder how I die if I make it all the way to the end on Sunday. Or maybe making it all the way to the end on Sunday means I didn't die. And that's when I finally get out of the loop. I don't know. Anyway. So we know Lady Brit is the spy, the one who killed us. So let's try telling Bernardo about that. Remember, Laertiste also just killed Hamlet in anger on the walls because Laertes learned that Hamlet is the one who killed um, Polonius. So they did that in a fit of anger. And then while they were talking to Lady Brit about that, that's when Lady Brit said we should... Well, they said, I'm the spy, by the way. <laughs> and I've been sent here by my father, I think. And, well, now that you're broken and kind of screwed, hey, how about you kill the king, too? So, that's their plan right now. Anyway, let's go to Bernardo. Oh. What is this? I don't like this. Everyone left rather hastily, it seems. I have to go find out where the others... Oh, no. Welp, I didn't make it, did I? Lady Ophelia. Lady Brit. Oh, right, we know who they are, so... <laughs> they're like, what? I knew it. You may kill me now, but I know everything I need to know. Just wait. I know I'll succeed in stopping you. Shut up! Just die! I have to do this! Okay, so they go through it anyway. <sighs> it's gotta be really, really traumatizing to die over and over again. I mean, I know they come back, but like... Think about how... <laughs> I don't know if it's really terrifying because you know you're gonna come back, but certainly it, it's very, very painful. Knowing that something so painful is coming for you in the future, that would definitely scare me. A piece in her larger schemes. Again? Alright, let's think about this a moment. I know I'll be killed three days from now. That gives me time to stop it. Now that I know that Brit is the one trying to harm me, I can act on it swiftly. Hamlet. All right, Hamlet. Come on. Oh. His death, I see it with my own eyes, and... Uh, the traitor is your own blood, yes, what? yes. How did you... Leave me be, I have things to do. <laughs> Scram, Hamlet. Ophelia. Yes, this whole thing. Um, is there anything I want to tell them right now? I, I don't know. What can I tell them? Like, anything, basically. I'm in danger. Um... I was looking over the previous episodes, and I was wondering exactly what I did to end up getting the key from Polonius. Because they gave us that key that one time, and then I think I died shortly thereafter. And I think what I did is I had everything come to a head. Um, I had the duel. I made the duel happen by telling Hamlet um, about my proof that uh, their mother was was cheating on um, on their father with Claudius before Hamlet Hamlet the Elder's death. I told Hamlet that, and then Hamlet brought everything to a head, and then the duel happened, and then Hamlet ended up dying, and I think it's after that 
that Polonius gave us the key, so maybe I want to tell Hamlet that to force that to a head? I don't know. Do I want to tell him about the spy? I mean, I want to say specifically it's Brit. Can I, can I say that? Hmm. I think I'll just say nothing. It's fine. Let's actually... Should I stop Laertes from going? Yes. Yeah, I want Laertes here so they can meet with Lady Brit. And then we can try to deal with the melancholy of Lady Brit. See if that goes anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. So we just have to say I'm in danger. Please. Okay, that's done. Now I need to tell them about the melancholy of Lady Brit, right? Yeah. Um, you know Lady Brit better than most. Do you know what's got her in such a strange mood? Clarities? What's wrong with Brit? Um, so this conversation is the same. We did tell them this before. But the thing is, I told them this after they had their big meeting. Before they had their, their meet and fuck in their room. The one I was there the whole time for. Ugh. Um, and it's important that they hear that before the meeting so they can actually address it in the meeting with Lady Brit. It's weird to call it a meeting, right? It's not like, yeah, they've penciled in a meeting to meet and fuck in their room. The grounds. I think that's Gertrude and Horatio talking in the grounds every day at 6.30. Yeah, I don't care to see that again. That's fine. What do I want to do now? I guess I should go tell to go tell Hamlet now about the proof that I have. Ah, right, they're uh, busy. Got to get through this whole thing. Oh wait, they're occupied. Oops, I just clicked out of the game. They're doing something. Where are they going exactly? I don't think there's much point in following them. I remember the ghost told us we should follow... Follow Polonius and look at them when they're... When they don't think anybody's looking. To try to figure out what they're doing with the papers and all that. I mean, I think we kind of already know. They're, we know the papers are in the box. And that at some point they burn them and we want to see the papers. But I guess... I guess I'll go to Polonius and just hang out there. In the meantime? So I don't want to talk with them, I just want to stare at them, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh. I don't know, what do I want to do? Do I want to form a plan with the Laertes again? What if I just don't go to the forming a plan thing? No, I should... I should go. I need to tell them about Brit. That's where I would tell them about Brit, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go there. Ophelia. Mm, so is this going to be any different now that we know it's Lady Brit? I should investigate so. this. Going to turn to someone I trust implicitly, which is Lady Brit. You should not trust them. Hmm. Uh. Ah, yes. Okay, this is different now. Uh, contact. You mean Brit. How did you know? You're so many wonderful things, Laertes. Subtle is not one of them. <laughs> True enough. Yes, Brit's got a knack for understanding the undercurrents in Elsinore, so to speak. I'll meet with her and understand what I must do from there. Yes, um... Should I just listen to them fuck again? <laughs> Please don't fuck. Is there anything else I can tell you that I want to say? Mentioning what the fa what our father burned, that didn't do anything. Laertes basically said, just trust our father has everybody's best interest at heart. Blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about it. 
Hamlet is going to kill father. Mm. Brit is a spy. Yes. Laertes, I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but Brit is a spy working for Prince Fortinbras. Brit? Working for Norway? You're serious? Truly? I'm sorry. I really am. I know it may sound insane, but you of all people should speak with her. You'll learn the truth. I want to believe you, but about Brit, I just... I'll talk to her. I hope with all my soul you're wrong. Okay, here's my worry. I'm really worried that Laertes is going to bring that up in the meeting. And I feel like Laertes knows and loves Lady Brit so much that I don't think they're going to be on guard. So I feel like Lady Brit might just figure, well, you know who I am. You know I'm a spy. So I need to kill you. And I don't think Laertes would be prepared to stop them. I'm worried they're going to get murdered. Please. I know it seems strange, but please believe me. I think she means to have me killed. And I don't know how to stop her without your help. Laertes now wants to investigate Lady Brit. Good. So when is that happening? King holds court of our recent events. Don't care. What, what is this? There's something kind of hidden here. Unlikely event. Laertes surprises Brit. What is that? Surprises? Maybe the surprise... Maybe the surprise thing is what would happen if I only told them about the fact that Lady Brit is sad. And the surprise was what they were going to do to try to cheer him up. But now that I told them about <laughs> being a spy, Laertes isn't too keen on bothering with the surprise. That makes sense. Um, hmm. I just realized Bernardo is involved in this event. Of asking Brit something sensitive. That's good. That's good. Somebody more impartial in the room who might be able to protect Laertes if Lady Brit tries to kill them. Where is it happening exactly? Ah, in the room. Okay. Yeah, let's just wait for that. Fancy meeting you here. Ah, Bernardo's just outside. Hmm. Hope that's good enough. Brit. Please tell me everything I've heard is untrue. I heard you have been passing information to Norway. This is ridiculous, right? It's not true, is it? It's true. Wow, I didn't expect Lady Brit to just admit it. Maybe they do really care for Laertes. Hmm. Then why? Why would you do it? Please. Listen closely. I last began passing information to Fortinbras by way of my father several months ago. It's why I was sent to Elsinore. The other nobles, including my father, want Claudius dead. He's a poor king. He disregarded all advice and requests which came his way. He ignored my father. And to ignore powerful men is to wish for one's own death. In fact, my father asked me to spy on his court and find a way to kill him off. And then I found you and your father, and you knew so much. You're a startlingly perceptive man. I see. So you were using me for information. Listen! No, I wasn't. Listen, Laertes, I love you. But a coup is what the country needs. 
I truly believe it in my heart. Denmark deserves a better king. If my father succeeds in helping Norway overthrow the throne, then the whole bad tree be uprooted, you see? And with all these vile men dead and gone, you and I would remain to love in peace. There would no longer be anyone to stop us, you see. I do see. I see that I was the more deceived. I've been passing information from my father to you in confidence for months. You're saying all of that went right to Norway? Even if you intended to keep me alive, do you really believe Norway would stage a coup without bloodshed? Laertes. What about my sister? She's clearly terrified. She thinks someone's after her. Was that your doing too? She's not wrong. It was me. But I had no choice. Fortinbra and my father came up with this plan. Then why weren't you honest with me? We could have uncovered a solution together. I was afraid. I didn't truly believe I could trust you. I see. Well, in the end, that's not what's important. You lied to me and used me. That's as much as I need to know. <clears throat> Bernardo. You may come in now. I had hoped to prove her innocence, but I believe you heard everything you needed to hear. <gasps> what? You're under arrest. I'm here to escort you to the dungeon until we're able to thoroughly investigate your confession, my lady. And my men will be looking through your personal effects. <sighs> then this is to be the end of me. So be it. I knew this might happen. I wished with all my heart that things could have been different. And for what little it's worth, Laertes, I'm truly abysmally sorry. Hmm. You're right. That's worth nothing at all. Lady Brit shatters and will not recover. Laertes becomes ups upset but will recover overnight. Bernardo and Lady Brit now believe that Brit has been imprisoned. Bernard and Laertes now believe that Brit's a spy. Okay, so we are sort of safe. At least safe from the assassination. I'm sure there's many other ways to die. Hmm. What do I want to do now? What do we have going on? Rosencrantz and Gildens turn to meet with their old friend. Don't care. <laughs> it's an unlikely event that Laertes will surprise Brit. I feel like that's more than... That's... Less than unlikely. That feels impossible. Surprise them, what, with a birthday cake in the dungeon? So the main thing I wanted to do, uh, to do on this loop is just make sure I don't die, right? So that's done. Um, I want to protect my father. One way to do that is to have Hamlet die. If I have Hamlet die, though, that's going to shatter Gertrude. And then I think if Gertrude is shattered, am I, f I think I'm forced into that cutscene. With the confrontation in the graveyard, where we die. So I think that's certain death for me. Hmm. What's my journal say? Uh, yeah, this whole melancholy of Lady Brit thing. Uh, that can't go anywhere while they're going to jail. I would have to do this in another loop and not tell them that Lady Brit is a spy. Which then would probably lead to my death. But at least I'd learn something more about Lady Brit, I guess. Mm, to catch a spy. Uh, Lady Brit is apprehended, locked away in a cell by Bernardo. Does this mean I've successfully prevented my death? If I make it to Saturday night, I'll know I have. 
Okay, so that's as far as that's advanced. Oh, something's Ophelia. happening. I owe you an apology. I'm sorry? For putting you in danger until now. Laertes relayed your fears to me, and at first I did not believe them. Please, come with me. Lead the way. Are we going to their chambers or something? No. Ah, oh, right, telling everybody about the spy. Right. All, I bring rather unfortunate news. We have uncovered certain illegitimate activities within the castle which collectively amount to treason. That's really beating around the bush, Bernardo. I apprehended Lady... Birgitta? Birgitta? Earlier today? She is in custody now. <gasps> Brit's the one who's been passing information to Norway? I knew that Brocken, whose family was sympathetic to them, but I didn't expect Brit to be capable of this, truth be told. I'm afraid so. And were it not for Ophelia's involvement, we'd never have uncovered the link. <sighs> she must be punished to the fullest extent, just as any other scoundrel would be. If that is your wish, my lord. She is in the dungeon now. Pretty sure the punishment for treason is death, so I th think Lady Brit is going to be killed. We intend to get to the bottom of her deception and to fully understand the circumstances of her crimes. I'll be interrogating her there each day, bold, until I've received satisfactory answers. Okay, that should be interesting. This is not a thing I find joy in. It is dark work, interrogation. But it is open to any who would bear witness. I must return to work. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. I know now that Brit truly was after my life. If that's the case, and she's in the dungeon, then... I can't rest easy until I know for certain I might live. If I live to see Saturday afternoon, then I'll know. Whole heck of a lot of things there. Bernardo reports his findings on Brit. Rosencrantz and Gillister meet with their old friend, don't care. Still an unlikely event that Laertes surprises Brit. Questioning begins on Friday at about noon. So that happens in the dungeon. Where, Where is the dungeon? I've never been there. Guardhouse, forest path, graveyard, grounds, docks, shack. Uh, oh, here. Can I... Can I get there? Like, Hamlet. Hamlet. Oh, it's just in... Oh, it's down the stairs. Ah. Oh. Moody. Oh! Event? Laertes speaking with Brit. I didn't even know that was going to happen. I definitely want to be here for that. Laertes. Please, listen. Hmm. Lord Laertes. I don't know why I bothered to come. I have nothing to say to you. Then go. No. Actually, there's one thing. Bernardo tells me you wanted to have my sister murdered. I didn't know. I didn't know she was my target. Not until very recently. And then, I didn't want to kill her. I fought, but... What? You fought? But you still meant to go through with it? You still meant to kill Ophelia? I don't know. You're a liar, a murderer, and a traitor to everyone in this castle who knew you. Laertes! Please, God, leave Laertes, please. Just have mercy. I'll be dead soon. Then you never have to look at me again. It may not make sense now, or ever. But I'm sorry I deceived you. Everything I felt for you was honest. 
I love you more than anyone in the world. But I didn't have a choice about your sister. I never did. My whole life was... No more. I see. I shouldn't have come here. I hope you go to hell for threatening my sister. And for using me. What is this? Whoa. Ophelia. There you are? Where where are you? <laughs> uh, there you are. There's something important we need to discuss with father. No, I wanted to look at the dungeon. Damn you, Laertes. Brit. Lady Brit has been uncovered as a traitor to the court, thanks to Ophelia. But this has dealt me a devastating blow. I'm not certain what the two of you knew, but I loved her. And I've loved her ever since she came to Elsinore. I had hoped to leave her safely behind as I went to Paris. But maybe, when I'd returned, I'd come for her, even if her father wouldn't approve, even if she was promised elsewhere. Now, suddenly, that dream is gone. She wanted to kill Ophelia. I'm sorry. I... There's nothing left for me in Elsinore. Even if I leave for Paris, I feel the knowledge that I would one day return would overshadow the trip. I never desire to return to Elsinore again, and I know not why we linger here. This castle is a wretched place, a sorrowful place. We should have left long ago. My son. I know that you are distressed, but this is a drastic response. Life at court can be difficult, it's true. Many of the nobility aren't able to handle such pressure. But I have respect and influence here at Elsinore. People desire my counsel. Hmm. Do you? Do you truly? Of course. I have no reason to believe otherwise. The court still values my advice. No, I am needed here. I cannot in good conscience leave. If you have some proof to the contrary, I'll gladly hear it. But I find the notion unlikely. It was interesting the way they said, if you have proof otherwise, almost kind of daring me to find proof. Have I seen anything that suggests that they're not wanted here? I don't... I don't think so? How's the timeline looking? Still nothing else today, really. Do I want to tell Polonius anything? I still don't want to tell Hamlet about Gertrude's diary. Because again, I think that's going to lead to my death, my early death. So then how do I save our father without doing that? That's weird. I can still say I'm in danger. Even though it feels like I'm not. Spritz in the dungeon. What if I told Polonius that I know about the affair? I wonder if that would make them want to burn the documents right away. I don't know. Let's try it. I know that Queen Gertrude is having an affair with Claudius before King Hamlet's death. Ophelia. What are you thinking? You can't be spreading rumors like that. It's not a rumor. I've tried to tell you before what a delicate situation we're in, dear heart. Please don't do anything to bring shame upon us. Polonius now believes that Ophelia is losing her mind. Okay, well, that wasn't successful at doing anything. 
In that case, let's go back to the dungeon. I want to check out that one dungeon that I can go inside of. It's very atmospheric in here. And creepy. Someone left a bucket here. Looks like it's full of something. Uh, yeah, that's the bathroom bucket. Oh, oof. Well, I certainly regret looking in there. This is meant to be a chamber pot. No one's cleaned it in ages. <laughs> Ophelia now believes that that bucket is gross. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Is that, is that like under hearsay now? I think it's just a joke, so I doubt it's going to appear somewhere, but... It'd be extra funny if it did, I guess. What if it did appear under hearsay, but for everybody you try to talk to, it always says that they wouldn't be interested in that sort of information? Because, like, why would you just tell that to somebody? <laughs> it's not there. Surely it wouldn't be a lead. No, just a joke. This is where prisoners sleep, or try to sleep, I guess. There's so little light in here. I think I want to be in the graveyard when our father goes there to remember our mother. I feel like I'm missing some sort of a dialogue option or something about Queen Astrid, because, like, if we look under Leeds, Queen Astrid's memory, it still says, if I talk to father about Queen Astrid, he acts evasive. Evidently, the queen was quite close to my mother, and he finds it painful to discuss her. He mentioned that he visits her grave Thursday night, though. Like, I, I think I've missed something there on Thursday at the grave. I've been there with them, but, like, I couldn't seem to make anything happen. So I think I'm just missing something. Okay, I don't think this happened before. Maybe I need to be here at the very beginning when they first come here. Oh, Ophelia, you're here. Do you know what today is? Mother? Um, I'm not certain what you mean. Judging by where we are, I'd assume it's got something to do with Mother. Mm. Today marks the day your mother and I were first wed. She was close to your age then. We were so very, so wonderfully young. I wish I could remember my own mind at that point in my life. Everything was so clean and simple. And matters so easy to sort through. Do you ever miss your mother? I... Uh, I think so. My love. You were so small when Ellis died. Hardly able to move on your own. And sickly, too. She was terrified she'd lose you as she lay ill. She handed you to a nursemaid instead of continuing to feed you. It likely saved your life though it brought her immense pain to do. I'm lucky then. Yes. Your mother was the light of my life. When she left us, my life, well, I have you and Laertes. Were it not for you two, my world would have gone completely dark. For many years, it was as though nothing would ever make me smile again. My hair grew white and my hands feeble. I felt I needed her to live. You are the spitting image of her. Sometimes when you were small, I could hardly bear to look at your face. It was too painful. But I know she'd be so terribly, terribly proud of you and Laertes. That's what has kept me alive these many years. I'll stay out here just a little longer, I think. If there's anything more you'd like to know about your mother, you have only to ask. It's difficult remembering, but important. Father. You know how deeply I love you, right? My love. I do. I've often felt I was failing my family as of late. Most of all you. I understand that you love me too. That brings me some small relief. I'll leave you be. Be safe, father. 
Ophelia now believes that Polonius is grieving Elise. Elise. I miss you in every waking... Oh, wow, that went by really fast. Um, I'm curious what got added to their entry here. Ooh, there's something interesting up here, actually. Um, I managed to save Father's life. It seemed that any time Hamlet is distracted or prevented from meeting his mother after the play, Father is safe. Prevented from meeting his mother after the play. Or distracted. How would I do that? How would I prevent them from meeting Gertrude? Maybe if I do the whole we need to discipline, discipline Hamlet thing? Maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, father goes to visit mother's grave often. He still mourns her all the time. He tells me she'd be proud of the person I became. I hope that's true. I don't remember her, so all I know of her is what father and Laertes tell me. Can you love someone you don't remember? It is a strange thing, isn't it? Let's ask about Queen Astrid now. Father. Ah, oh, now that's... Uh, this is the same dialogue we've had before. That's a name I'd sworn not to speak again. Is there some ill omen? Mm -hmm, yeah, this is the same. Why does no one speak of her? Queen Astrid. Mm -hmm, that's the same. Uh, but you could read about them if you so desired the things that happened. How? There's something I've never told you before. Uh, something you won't like, I think. And your brother would like even less. But it's the truth. Okay, this is new, I think. When she took ill, King Hamlet ordered her put into one of the sanitariums on the southern coast. What? You mean the ones far from here? She died like that? The king was not kind to her, and would not let her convalesce within the castle along with the rest of the noble affiliated victims. He never treated her with kindness, though he was kind to other noble women of similar rank. I see. Because she was foreign born, you mean? Yes. Her only crime was being born into a world that could not understand her worth. The guard captain at the time, Bernardo's father, was ordered to prevent me from seeing her. The king feared I would take ill too, and leave him with no advisor. I wasn't able to say goodbye. Mother. How could someone do something like that? If she'd been in the sanitarium, she might be alive. We both knew when we fell in love that it would end like this. It could be no other way. I'm a man of the present. I don't like to remember. Painful memories tend to linger and grasp at us far past their right. But, if you were so inclined, she left behind some notes, composed at the very end of her life. Where? When she died, some kind soul sent her belongings back to me on a ship but it was simply too painful for me to dream of looking through them. They're located in that shack by the docks. They're locked off, along with the other belongings of those who fall to the plague. You'll need to find a way in. In the shack by the docks? So this... Hmm, I was expecting the notes to be in the chest in Polonius's room, so there's something else... There's something else in their chest. Hardly anyone in the castle will go in there. It's a bad omen. But you're sharp as your mother was. I'm sure you'll find a way. Damn. Acquired the information. My mother's death. I've learned that my mother 
Elise kept an account of Astrid's story, and it might exist somewhere. My mother contracted plague and was sent away to die in a sanitarium off the southern coast, alone and frightened by King Hamlet. After she perished, her belongings, along with those of other victims, were brought back by ship and sealed in a small shed near the docks. Perhaps I can learn more information there, if I can find a way in. Well, for now, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to ask around and see if I can find a way into the shack or something like that. And tomorrow at about noon, I want to watch Bernardo question Brit. <laughs>